What are you doing right now? Alyssa, what are you doing? Honey, what are you even doing? Do you know? Do you want, do you want me to just... What, what, the, what do I even say to you, Alyssa? Excuse my sleeping eye mask. That's what this is right here. Once again, pretty much you know who I am at this point. This is the crap I have to deal with every single night. Every single two weeks out of every single month. Complete hallucinations. Sleepwalking, sleep talking, zombified. Like she's literally drunk or high. And I, I say that term in the most accurate way. She's just... She can't even fo can't even focus. Fidget fidgeting with her hands. She's fat infatuated with this whole area right here. She's trying to yank the door open many many times. That's what the whole ten billion ten billion dollar deal is about. Okay, I mean I'm just dead serious. Uh, I don't know how many times I could say it. I mean I think it's getting out there. So, but I mean she's doing this intentionally. This just freaking sucks. This right here. Every time I turn. Every time you turn, turn, turn this light off, watch what happens. I'll try to turn this light off, watch what happens. Hey! We'll turn it right back on. We'll turn it right back on. And turn, she'll turn on her angel, pull out her angelica and say, no, I'm gonna do what I do. And I can't, I can't sleep. That's why I have to have this eye mask goes on like this. Really, you know, it's really, really, really nice. If, you know, if you ever have, you know, that helps when you, She's all stimulated by this because she loves the iPad. She's obviously, this, you know, this iPhone's like an iPad. She gets infatuated with this right here television. She thinks that's an iPad. So it's a poking prod all over that. She can't focus. This is her melatonin right here. This is this is Zico Pure sees melatonin with Shem, Shamil and Lavender. And it helps fall asleep naturally, no next day grogginess. But with her, it's she takes. I gave her 20, 20 milliliters in this dosage cup right here. This is a tool, part of my toolkit, to make sure that she tries to have, tries to, uh, tries, you know, there's orderliness, she can get her disease, because if she doesn't sleep, she wakes up the next day, is completely all, going all over the place, tearing every, tearing everything apart. See, watch this. See, she'll do this. See how, see how she does that? does this over and over and over again and I have it down to hallucinogenic hallucinations um, sleepwalking sleep talking you know my social worker said it's a different verbiage but you know it is what it is MR MR and, aut and severe MR and on and autism as well so it's definitely very very autistic behavior and it's you know it showed up more and more and more when she was first diagnosed this Back in 2017, you know, when she had two um, weeks of testing at um, a hospital, she was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome. But you know, before that, you know, she had she had bits of this. You know, she'd have she she wouldn't she wouldn't be doing she wouldn't be doing all of this right here. But this is why no, leave your shirt on, leave your shirt on, leave your shirt on, please. And she'll do that. She'll take her shirt off. She'll just do all. She just she can't focus. And she hallucinates. She sees things all over the place. She'll go out. So when she like, let's take an example. Of that that's a broom right there. She'll get fixated on something like that broom, and she won't be able to come up, get away from it. So she'll stare it down, and, and then she'll just grab. It. She'll take this telephone right here. I don't want to demonstrate, but she'll take it off, hook, press the buttons over and over and over again. This is a whole town. You know, it's private property. You know, it's on me to make sure everything stays. Well, because we stayed here for five weeks. You know, we've stayed here for five months. It's going to be six months now at the end of February. It's not, it looks like, it's not funny, honey. It's 11 o'clock, you know, quiet, quiet hours here at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. There's a guest next door here. This is room 117. The next, um, the next room over is 118. Alyssa, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding. You no, know, and she gets really, really defiant. She'll throw it right back. You, you try to throw it in her face. So throw it back in your face. I don't like to raise my voice to her, but I have to put a charge to my voice for her to listen because she, you can't get her, you can't get her out of that spot. She gets locked up in her thoughts and she can't move forward. 
And last night she did wonderful. Melatonin did its job. She went right to sleep. She slept very, very well. Tonight, it's a completely different story. She, and without sleep, it's a disaster. She wakes up and tears everything apart. She takes, Hi. Like, I usually place my wallet right here. We have two key sets. This is, this is the spare key set, the master keys. I hid that under my bed right there. This right here. Um, these you see here, these are my father's fork truck keys. All different keys that he used in anheuser Bush right there, you know, for machinery. <clears throat> and I kept that as a souvenir. That's one thing that my mother didn't try to destroy. Well, even this is too. How they sit on a key fob and the keys right here. These, some of these keys, here, this key um, right here is also sentimental on my father too. A work key right there. And my wallet right here, I put my wallet right here and my sister just throwing all my... All my money, my cards, all over the place here. So we get infatuated with this. This is a beautiful water bottle right here. It's a called uh, golf, Golfus. You know, it's a different. You can pop it open like this, just like that. She loves this. But she gets infatuated with this, and she'll start drinking it like it's honestly like, like it's a beer, something like that. Yes, sir. And, she, and then she'll do that. So, you know, in my spirit, this is my red song. I have a bag right here. I'm gonna pull keep everything all right here. But you know, she'll take this and she'll unzip it. She'll unzip everything there and throw it all over the place. So yeah. like, you think, Alyssa, honey, so it's honey. like, you, you know, when I try to, I can't hide anything from her. This right here, this door takes you to my bathroom. It's locked right now. It's locked because I had cereal boxes up here. She tears all those down, so I have no choice but to lock them away. Because she gets so infatuated with everything, everything it has to be like, like like a focal point for her. Look, and she's trying to get. She's so stimulated. She wants an iPad, so she sees my iPhone, and she you know, she she's hungering for it. It's like she needs it's her drug. So saving grace is we have one locked door, one locked door right here. This is double locked, right? So you have door handle that. The problem is here with these doors is that this, this controls your deadlock right here, right? But when you try to do this, it disengages it. It doesn't, doesn't stay locked. When you have that door here right there, it's double locked. Double lock. So you know no matter what, the thing is when she does try to do that, it's always gonna hold it back. Like that. You know, she's escaped on me many, many times. She's had many, many Many circus acts. I had to chase her around the hotel, all the way here. You take all the way down here. That goes to the wing that was renovated. She went all the way down there, up the stairs, up the second floor there. I tried. I tried getting after her. She kept wrestling me, and it's a tussle, a tussle. Oh, she bit me right yeah. here. Yes, you know because you did. You did that, my dear. And I couldn't get her back. So I had to keep. I had to keep fighting right. and fighting and fighting with her because. She she was just in a she was just in a trance. She was just you know she was just in a complete trance. Then finally I was able to get her. I was able to uh, redirect her back down to the first floor here. And if you go all the way here, you come back. In the center, you cut through here. That's entrance B. There are three entrances here. Entrance C is the rear. Entrance B, and then you go down that hallway here. Eventually, you cut that way. Entrance A is right there. But she, what are you doing? No, 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 come over here. I'm playing. No, 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 you're not, no, no. She doesn't do something else to do right here. She just, she, she needs stimulation. What are you doing? I'm right here. No, 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 come here. Come here, close it. And I'll just have to keep doing this over and over and over. And it puts such a freaking strain on my heart. You know, it's not, it's, it's not good. Yeah. No, no, what are you doing? What do you, Alyssa, no, no. I got it. No, you don't got it. You're, you're zonked out and you're tired, Alyssa. I know you are. Okay, it's not, it's not a game. This isn't fun. Okay, I don't want to, I can't go through, I told this young lady, I can't do this. I can't do this for the rest of my life. So that's why I'm trying to get her where she needs to be, you know, busting my, yeah. busting my ass for, busting my ass for rocks, Rockstar games and, you know, build a rock boy game. I just, Trying to do anything I, I can to get paid is ten billion, okay? So I can, you know, get on with my life and you, like I said, you know, have some bank to work with to build a new life, okay? You know, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. You know, I still, you know, because I have to go through all the rumors too, okay? 
I have to, I can't. <sighs> Grand Theft Auto Vice 2023, September 2023. I don't know if it's, no. If you're going, no, what are you doing? What are you doing now? What's running through your mind now? What's running through your mind now? Yes, you're waving. That's fine if you're waving, but see, see, she's just she's hallucinating. I think she has. There's very different forms of hallucination, right? Hearing hallucination, seeing hallucination, um, olfactory hallucination, which means th smelling which you can't, smelling something that you can't actually that's not actually there. Gustation hallucination, which means taste, tasting something that's actually not there, and then there's one more. But there's like uh, there's like um four. Four or five or six different types of variants of hallucination. She's definitely seeing things. See how she does that right there? She just looks up. It's just, it's very random. You're getting tired, huh? Hi. You're getting, okay, you're getting tired. Come on. I saw that young. Come on, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. You can do it. Come on. Let's go. There you go. There we go. Very good. Okay, lay down. That's, that's, I'm changing. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is a I'm good thirsty. No, you're you're doing great, honey. Okay, that's much better. See, when she's yawning like that, she's yawning because she's tuckering herself out. She's you know so energetic and just you're just spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. And when you do that, eventually you know you're going to, you're going to be white. You're going to go down. You're going to be like the you you know you're going to be like the white toy toy that you know finally shuts down. The robot that finally shuts down. And it gets to that point. You know it doesn't stay this way. She does go back to. You see, like she had the screen right here. She loves this. She, you, yeah. she, she can't. She can't get enough of this. So as long as I have the screen right here, she's going to stay stuck on that. So if I move over here, that will kind of help a little bit. But you know, it's temporary because she, I always say she comes back to her glory and her graces. And you know, she does. Oh, excuse me. One. I'll have your fuel even though this right here is rules of fat. It's burging large coke. You know, that's basically been, basically been my fuel tomorrow, dear. Tomorrow. She's gonna be seeing, the reason she's stuck on that is she's gonna be seeing my mother tomorrow. They have Papa Gino's um, dinner dates every Wednesday. So, you know, it's really, really good. They keep getting their time and make sure that, you know, their relationship's not, not squashed and, you know, they're. Because I wouldn't want that to happen, you know, my mother. It's been a week, then, week, usually it's every other week, but it's been it's been two weeks now, one week more than usually it is, so my mom's really looking forward to that, and it comes to keep her grounded, and hopefully not making my health be the punching bag, but I'm going to go back there tomorrow and see how Maxine, our main crew cat's doing, and I'm going to be recording more videos, you'll see me probably um, at, the, at the social agency, yeah. I'll just be parked there, that's, um, my sister will be dropped off with my social worker. So my social worker is going to wheel her over to the Palm Chinos with my mother. And um, that's where my sister's going to be. And you know, it really, really helps because sometimes my social worker will take my sister, wheel my sister back to the hotel and that helps because, you know, I don't have a driver, valid driver's license, registration, inspection, all that. So I'm trying to get all that taken care of. You know, so we keep using the car because my mother just said, nope, we're just not going to do it. So I've had to go through all this unnecessary struggle. It's you know it's a bunch of BS. But um, hoping that my um, her social worker, her name's Caitlin, you know, will bring my sister back here, and I can have you know you know I just have some peace. No, no, no. Come here, come here. No, Alyssa, you were Alyssa, you were just you were just settled, honey. You were just settled. You were just settled. See, so you can't... She can't land. She's so... Her mind is so... Busy. And you know, it's like... Think of a, a, think of a computer's task manager. Her task manager has all these processes going, but you kill one of the processes, another processes start, and these processes are all, you know, are all the EXEs, all the ex, You know, um, all the executables are all these different thoughts running and running and running through her mind. It can be about, I want stuffing, right? I want stuffing, I want to go for a ride. 
I want to, you know, put my jacket on. I want chocolate milk. I want all these different processes. And her task manager never shuts down. So she, you know, so she can never shut down. And, you know, eventually, you know, she eventually she gets the blue screen. And she gets the blue screen when, you know, she finally tuckers herself out. That's when she stays here. This is the goal. But you know what? She doesn't want to be here. She wants to be here. She wants to be there. There. Over here. Over here. Messing around with all this. It's her jacket right here. This is her first jacket. First jacket. A few years old, but it's still really, really nice. She puts the zipper belt off. So she uses this right here. This is her pink coat. It's actually my mother's pink coat. She has a zipper right there and a buckle. And that's my jacket right there. Put this back in here. Really nice, this is nice construction right here. Nice shelling unit. Everything that's hotels renovated, is it? <laughs> <laughs> sure, you heard that? Like, that's one way to relieve stress. <laughs> honey. Riley. No, not bunny. I said honey. Hi. Yes. As in, you should be laying down. I really don't know why this is out because this is a vest. I think it's because it's made of wool, so it's warm and it will do the job during the winter. Uh, Mr. Benzies, if you're watching this, is my just like well, Mr. Howes, maybe you're watching this too. Sure of it. Uh, okay, how does this go? Alyssa, stop yelling. Come over here. Now, this video is working up to 17, but this back over here. This pulls back up. No. I think it was about. My sister. No. No, you can pull on that all you want, Alyssa. It's gonna give it's gonna give you resistance. Really? Yes. Come over here, stop you on the door. <sighs> Lost my train of thought. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, I can't even remember now. This is so god darn frustrating. You know, I'm XSP Triple I. See you on founder of XSP Triple I Games, you know. This is literally, you know, in that letter that I wrote to Mr. Benzies, you know, the address is, is the, actually the address of this hotel and the room number that I'm staying in because it's operating out here. You know, this is my little, little area right here. It's been very comfortable. Comforter, nice little bed cover right here. Compliments it all nicely. It's really beautiful setup here. Did you see the owners? You know they worked very hard to, you know, rebuild, reshape this hotel. You have your freestanding um, nightstand right here. It's really cool about this clock because the clock is it's an alarm clock, it, a, a alarm clock radio combination, but it is indeed also a telephone. Telephone machine right there, which is, which is also nice in hotels that you didn't have before. Is you can see, but those are peripherals for your USB. USB ports, AC and USB ports. That's because. There! Listen. All right here. Yeah, you put a lamp off right here. Well, I love this girl dearly, but it's just frustrating, you know. Really, really, it's because it's like, you know, uh, no, no, no. No, 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 go over the, I'm trying to go over to the boxes over here now. Like she said, when she gets stuck on something, she wants it. She wants it, she gets it, she'll grab it, and you know, she'll use, if she, she makes sure that she can do something, because if I try to stop her, like you know, when I try to stop her going to the circus act all the way around the hotel, ah! no, 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 that is not appropriate. You need to be a nice girl like you were raised, do not yell, do not shriek, do not scream. 
What are you doing that for? Mars! Yes, I know. She's infatuated with Sailor Mars. From Sailor Moon, back in 1996. Big, big show there. She's a big fan of that. She likes Sailor Mars because Sailor Mars is not... She likes all naughty characters now because they feed, you know, they give her that that stimulation, that energy. She feeds off of that negative energy. When she used to use an iPad, she would get yelling, and scream, and rage. She would stay there and never get out. And she would get very, very angry because she took that on. on. When she took it on my mother, she would pull on her, pull her hair, yank in my ears, try to gorge my eyes out, all nine yards. All nine yards. And you know, if I haven't made the case about the whole ten billion dollars and why I'm really, truly, truly, truly fighting for that, you know, this is just more, like I said, dash cam proof. You know, I appreciate. You know, whoever is watching this video, watching it, it does suck, but I know there's light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm trying to be a hero. No, 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 no. Try to go with that, to go with that waste basket right there. What do you, what do you want that waste basket for? So it gets stuck in the mirror right there. Right? I mean, that's kind of understandable because you can see her reflection. And she used to do that before, but even still, I mean, that's just... There's so much... Any, anything can be stopping for her. Anything in this room. Anything can be a point of interest. You know, she'll stare blindly in the lamp. She'll look up there. She... She, uh... What was it, last night? Oh, no. The, no, the night before that, she was standing right... Oh, no, do we know... I give you before... The night before last night, she was standing right here on the bed, doing that. Okay, no, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, once you pretend you're, that it's um, Santa Claus coming to town, right? You're walking to the door, the door's right here. Put one foot in front of the other. Okay, put one foot in front of the other. Come walk, walk over here. Walk over here. I want you to walk over here. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Go ahead and lay down. Lay down. There you go. Okay. Keep going. Lay down. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> okay. Very good. We're all right. We're going to do this. Lay down. Lay down. Okay. Okay, honey. This is take about. Take. Okay. Take four. Okay, my dear. Have your eye. Can you give me your eyeglasses, please? Thank you. Very good. That's very, very good. Can you, you fold them? It. Can you fold them? You Can you fold your eyeglass? You fold. No, 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 no. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Okay. You got it. You got it. Okay. Can you fold them? Fold the arms back. Fold your fold your glasses. No. No. Take them off. Okay. Now take these and fold them. Fold them. Fold them. Fold these. Pe see this? Like that. Can you do that on the other one? Fold. It. There you go. Okay. Beautiful. Can you hand them to me now? <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a good girl. Very good girl. Okay, so these are going to go back in here in the drawer. Okay. There we go. So we got that. Down pat. Okay. Let's try this again. No, no, no. You can do it. I know you can do it. You're a beautiful, you're a beautiful girl, Alyssa. That's right there. That's my father's honey bunch angel. See the halo right there? You can see it. Beautiful, bright, and bold. You know, you won't lose the shine, diamond chain eyes, and your smile. Let's see, look right there. That's all. That's Daddy. That's Daddy's head shape. My father's head shape. My mother when she was a little girl, right there without the eyeglasses. All shines right through. Okay, so let's try it again, dear. I know we can do this. This video's up to 24 minutes. I think. Let me see if it works this time. Hopefully, it does. Never lose hope. <laughs> Okay, I'm in the dark now, you can just hear my voice, but I'm here. <laughs> oh, you probably can't see me. Oh, you can't see anything. Just use your imagination. Just pretend it's a dark canvas, a blank canvas, and you're thinking about what Grand Theft Auto 6 and everywhere is. Just put it together, use my voice, and go from there. 
Um, uh, thank you very much for watching. She's going to be okay now. Hopefully, here's for certainly hoping. What is it, my dear? I love you very much, okay? Daddy loves you very much. He's very proud of you. He's watching over you. He's looking out for you. And you have my two strongest hands your back front showing you. Daddy, the warrior and the workhorse. Everything was wisdom down to his wits. Okay? And I've taken the greatest pride in showing you. Love, sympathy, empathy, moral support. Because you're not just my, my job, but the mission, reason, priority, now, priority, forever. I want you to keep your eyes open, your ears open, your heart wide open. And that's how love will always find its way in. And you'll be pure, innocent, infectious for the rest of your life. Okay, you'll never lose a shine. Beautiful, bright, and bold in your halo. Leave your head, the shine, your diamond chain eyes, and shine across your smile. Okay, and remember, your identity and your title is a beautiful one. Skips to you, my mom, in your better times, and daddy all the time. Be, embrace yourself and love yourself. Own and be proud of who you are. Okay, you go to share family, love you, have a wonderful time, you can have all you. Celebration, your Halloween, trick or treating, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and you will live the life Daddy wants you to live. You have social interaction, excursions galore, okay? And you will have a wonderful time. And we're going to make it out better than okay, my dear. Okay, we're going to make it out better than okay. We need to let each other count each other, fight for each other, alongside each other, and walk another day, earn another strike, be strong and resilient, okay? And. Remember, there's 8 billion people out there bettering themselves, and others will lean on them, their friends, family, relatives, and they want to they want to make sure that they can depend on that individual as so that they can all be at their best every single day and chase their grill and chase their destiny. And as a caretaker, which is my job, you know, I take my job very, very seriously, and I give you pledge, promise, commitments, and dedication and devotionalism that... No, and that's what it's always going to be, no matter what, okay, no matter what. I love you very dearly, and there's only loving intent when I say to you every every single day, okay? In everything I do, there's loving intent, okay? I want you to know, Mom loves us, we love her, but I worry about her very much every day. Because, you know, she needs to get out of her own way and see that there's a major problem, and there's a reason why I'm concerned about her, and... Why well, worry about the house and Maxine and everything else? You're going to have a wonderful time with her tomorrow. You have your dinner date at Papa Gino's. Okay? And I'm going to get some time in by myself because I definitely need it. But I want you to remember the principle of everywhere, Alyssa, which states the magic and the dreams happen in the clouds. Keep your heads high in the clouds and you'll go higher and higher and higher. You can, you can, a little something can be a lot of everything and you can be, be the creator of the next best invention the next best you know you know miracle movement and you can bring the world future closer to you so it's less you know it's less distant okay and you can stop the world from turning turn all eyes of that the world towards you to recognize you as a hero from the shadows and in the shadows because in one pulse lies an incredible thrust of ambition and my dear you were you are a treasure, a pleasure, a delight. You are a light. You are forever daddy's name, much angel. You are forever bulletproof. And you are forever protected by div divinity. Okay? My arms are always wide open for you and are never closing like daddy's always was. Daddy did everything for you, Alyssa. He was a warrior and a workhorse. Wisdom, strength. He lives in my heart as he lives in your heart. And he's... Absolutely right, right, my dear. And he gets us through every single day, and we are stronger in every fight. Will be fought and won. Remember, last when you were going through it, the Tasmanian Devil effect. I took you away from the sight of sounds of chaos. I took you away from the sight of sounds of chaos, and I put up smoke screens and never blinders. I was your first responder. I was there for you, proudly, down on my knees. Telling you everything you need to know to never forget about Daddy, his sacrifices, the way, how much he loved you, why he was in your life, and that he was proudly your job because he was Alyssa. No matter what Daddy's job was, you were his job, and let's not forget you were his motivation. To and from work, he needed you. The more of you he saw, the better off he was. And he imitated everything. Your favorite characters, Optimus Prime and Bulkhead, and 
you know, Ratchet there from Transformers Prime and Big Burn and Grover and all Sesame Street characters. He's saying, Midnight Chicken Problem with you. And, um, Uncle Crackers, you make me smile. You remember what he said? He said, This song reminds me of me and you. And even the big squeeze hugs. And he said, Where's my big girl morning hug and kiss? Every single morning, once before work, going off to work. And what did he say then? At the bottom of the stairs, what did he say? He said, Where's my big girl morning hug? Where's my big girl hug and kiss? I have to go to work. He said that in that same loving tone every single time, Alyssa. He loved you. He absolutely loved you, okay? And then some. It's true. He really, really did. He was a heck of... You know, my dear, of course. No question, no questions asked. My father was very passionate. He loved, you know... He turned his life around, found my mother. She was enough for him to change. She worked to rebuild him recently. Him, they were soulmates, you know, he cared about their relationship, his relationship with me, relationship with, you know, my sister. It, it, my father was a one of a kind, you just, those, you could never fill those boots. And, you know, the great thing is that, you know, I carry what he left with a great legacy, accomplishing very, very much. Getting the dream truck of his truck of his dreams, his GED high school diploma, and opening his business, landscaping business, mowing him down. And it's just sad because you know what? Wonderful because I was going to go in that business with him. I was ready to learn you know more of the ins and outs of landscaping and all that. But my dear, be proud of yourself, okay? My arms are open. No, 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 no. No, no. Lay down, lay down, lay down. You got it. There you go. That's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I got you that time. Two minutes, but you know, we're gonna shut this one, shut this one down. But you know, Alyssa, I love you very much. Okay, I'm gonna come back over there. Oh. She tried. She had that feeling. She pulled herself out, but you know, she rationalized because she hopped right back in the bed. She was gonna jump up again, but I think she knew. Maybe, maybe she, you know, my father telling her no. But uh, took her back in again. But again, I, I, you know, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me. You know, God bless. Be about your ambition. Don't love your hug your loved ones not once, not twice, not three times, not even four times. All the time. Because they need you as much as you need them. I'm XP Triple Line Games. Crazy ambitious. Cleverly historic. Or XP Triple Line Games. You're the pulse of ambition. Everything and anything is possible if only you believe. Right, my dear? Everything's Hi. everything is possible if only you believe. Never stop believing, okay? Mm -mm. No, come on. No, no, it's okay. Just relax. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you can't see her, but she's definitely there. Hi. You can't miss, you can't miss her energy. You can't miss the light. Maybe you can. Maybe you can see her. She's there. It's dark, honey. You can't see her. Okay. But I wish you pleasant sleep, pleasant dreams. I love you very much. Daddy loves you very much. He's watching over you. I'm looking out for you. Okay. And everything will be good. Everything will work out. You're making out better than okay. And we're binding the memories in room 117. Writing the memories here in room 119. First, yeah. it was Thanksgiving. Then it was Christmas. Then it was New Year's Day. It was my 31st birthday. We're still staying here. It will be your 26th birthday. You have a wonderful day on the 19th of June. Okay? 
Remember, Alyssa, I only do what I do because I love yeah. you. I take my, excuse me, my job very, very seriously. Mom loves you too. I love her, but she needs to help herself out. Okay? Hi. So, pleasant dream? Happy and pleasant dreams? Yay! Okay. No, no, no. I will see you tomorrow. And we'll do it all over again. Hopefully, hopefully that will be it. But I'm going to shut this video down. Thank you for supporting me. Going through hell. But I'm trying to be a hero in the channels. Mr. Mendes, thank you for watching me. Box games, midlock wiggins, towers, and really appreciate Yay! everything. I'm going to keep you posted. <laughs> okay, take care now. Bye-bye.